Okay, you guys, the time has come. It's time to cut this mop. I'm trying to decide if I want to go blunt or like really layering in the front, but we're going to cut the hair today. I gotta go stand in front of a mirror so I can see how I'm talking to you guys. This is really backlit bad back there. Okay, so do you see these bangs in front of my face? I feel like it takes forever for these to grow. So I don't want to touch these. I don't want this to go any shorter, like around here. Um, and my natural, like my grow out isn't super dark. Like I actually am a lot lighter, but it looks really dark compared to my ends because my ends are obviously so light. So what I think I'm going to do is keep these pieces by my face blonde because I like feeling blonde, but then just smudge my roots out and go darker. And then you guys, and then I think what I'm going to do is cut off like this much up to my collarbone. So this much gone. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Okay, so we're at this process where we take out the hair extensions. She's mixing up my color. And this is all, I'm losing a lot of hair right now. You can tell when we brush it out. I'm losing a lot of hair from this guy. Do you suck you know all my nutrients, huh? Yeah. So I think we're gonna take off like this much or so. We'll see. And then like smudge these roots out. Do you guys wanna see my hair inspo pic that I sent her? I was like, this is kind of what I'm going for. Not as dark, obviously, or I'd be really dark. But oh my gosh, that hair, so good, right? She has probably the world's best hair. Are you talking to mommy? You've been such a good hairdressing partner. Can you stick it on your thumb? Okay, so the color is on my roots. We're melting it out. You guys, my roots are now finally matching my eyebrows. There's the leftoverness. Elliot has had all the fun today. All the hair is gone. Feels so fresh, you guys. Just cut your hair. It feels so good. What do you want to say? You've been such a good boy. You've been such a good boy. messy curls um, first off I feel like I always get asked about li what lip color I'm wearing or what lip gloss so I'm just gonna knock that one out of the park um, this is called Bougainvillea gloss from lip sense and I actually sell it I'll leave a link below um, but it's a really pretty hydrating gloss it has just like a little bit of a red tint to it so if you don't want to commit to a lot of color for the day um, I really really love their glosses they're hydrating and this one's just really pretty it's like a red sparkly goodness so if you want this gloss the link is below um okay so when it comes to messy curls or looking like you haven't put a ton of effort into your curls but you have the the underlying like thing that's our friend here is dirt dirty hair um so i just washed my hair yesterday and i let it air dry that's a super important step don't straighten your hair and don't blow dry it unless you have super frizzy hair um, and I'm not a hair expert by any means. <laughs> so this is just how I get my curls. I have really fine stick straight hair. And so this is just what works for me. I have to kind of let my hair air dry. I feel like it gets a little more volume and kind of has some little bit of a wave to it. Um, I just got my hair cut, so I'm still like getting used to these curls. So this is slept on day two hair. And it's kind of nice because the longer you go from washing it, the more curl and volume your, volume your hair will start to get um, so that you're not recurling your hair every single day and it's so much healthier for your hair. So first and foremost, I use dry shampoo. You can get this at Walmart, which is even better. I'll leave a link for it below also. Um, it's just a clean, freak, refreshing dry shampoo. And then I'm a huge, huge fan of the R & Co line. This stuff is amazing. I bought it back in January. It's now August and I have a ton of it left. Um, it's a really good hold, a super strong hold without your hair feeling like it's cement 
or gritty or gross and it smells amazing like so amazing so this is the r co hairspray the flexible um it kind of looks like this outer space galactic the packaging is really really cool so i'll also link this this is the hairspray i use and then lastly um i don't use this every single time but just when my hair is starting to feel dry or just kind of um needs a little extra moisture it's the r co line as well it's the, called tinsel which is really cute because on the packaging it looks like tinsel um but this is like the soothing oil that i use on my ends and then the curling iron that I use is actually a bedhead curling iron. I just got it at um, Ulta. And I the wand is actually pretty little. Um, I don't even know the exact sizing, but I know that it's orange. And this is the model BH313, if that helps you. So I, I threw the packaging away. I don't even know how big it is. I'm sure a lot of you hair experts in the comments below can leave how big the wand is, but I wouldn't say it's any bigger than like a quarter size on top. Like that's how big it is. So this is the curling iron I'm going to be using. Okay, so the first step that I do is I use my dry shampoo. I just like your dry shampoo is going to kind of give your hair some texture and it's going to curl a lot easier. So I just part it in sections and then I go through um, where I like if I worked out and I'm sweaty or my hair looks oily, that's what you want to do is just get on the root of your hair and then kind of massage it into those curls. because you're trying to create waves and dimensions. So you don't want every hair perfectly curled or you're gonna get that really like, I just curled my hair look. Um, so after I do that, I kind of just go through and spray my ends and just the hair so that it just has a little bit of hold to it with the hairspray. And honestly, like the more you curl your hair through the week and don't wash it, the easier it is the next day to style it. So the first day I curl my hair right after I wash it actually takes me the longest. Um, and then just after that, I feel like I'm just touching it up. Um, today I'm trying to give a little more detail because I'm showing you guys. So anyways, so after I do my, my bottom layer, then I go to the middle section. This is like the meat of our hair. And then we have our top knot. Um, I'm gonna come, go through and do the same type of process. As you get closer to your back, it's gonna be harder. Um, so I just kind of, same type of feeling, curling iron wand going down like this and the hair with the ends are out, if that makes sense. I'll show you how to do a piece in the back. So in the back, I just kind of section it off because I can't see what I'm doing. And then I take my wand and I just, it's like all about a feeling. And I wrap it 
and then I just kind of like cleave this out and then I angle my wand down. Does that make sense? So at first it's like this, and then I turn it and angle it down, let the hair come out. It's that easy. For the last section, it's the most important part. Um, if you need to give a, yourself a little extra direction too, you do that. You do that, girl. Um, so figure out where you want to part your hair. I like kind of like the deep swoop lately with this haircut. Um, I have to have me having like a really good day to have my hair right down the middle. Um, so I kind of just do the deep side swoop, but make sure you find out where you want your hair to part. And then this layer, you actually don't want that curly because the meat of our hair is where we want most of our waves happening and um, this is where you want those soft long curls so I'm going to take bigger sections like my bangs and do that same filling where I'm going to take that hair and wrap it going back around the wand and again leaving our end out and then kind of angling the, the wand not directly down or sideways but kind of just like at an angle and then I just leave that so just bigger sections on the top and angling our wand at like a diagonal, not going straight down or sideways, just kind of at a diagonal. So this back part right here that goes over the crown of your head, this section right here you guys, that goes over the crown of your head, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to take it and see my wand, I'm going to kind of just like work it through right here so I can just, so I'm kind of using that heat to create um, a little bump so that it will just lay nicer over my head and then I wrap it once and kind of leave the end out and I keep it completely sideways right here. So when I pull it out you can see how it has like a little bit of volume right there. Does that make sense? And then just let that curl fall. And then over here, same thing, bigger sections, curling iron at the diagonal and wrapping it going Now this is like a volume trick that I like to do. So I kind of mess my fingers, take my fingers and put them through my hair and pull up and then take the hairspray, spray it and hold. It looks a little crazy at first, so bear with me. Okay, just like you're kind of teasing those roots, giving a little hairspray in there, just like a tiny less is more with hairspray. This is like the part where your husband walks in and he's like, what are you doing with your hair? <laughs> so I kind of just let it sit like that and then I take our tinsel and literally do one, one drop and work it into my palms and then I just go through my ends of my hair. And it smells really good and it's going to keep your ends moisturized. Okay, and then I wipe the excess off on a towel or just kind of like massage it into my hands because you don't want a ton of oil for this next part. And then I just kind of go through and smooth how I want my hair to lay. And I feel like, like we talked about, the messier, the better, the less uniform, the better. And that's basically it. That's how I get my curls. And that dry shampoo and that little hairspray that you just did is gonna hold your hair all day. Um, and then I just go through and give my hair like maybe one more spritz. And honestly, day three, day four, I really don't even have to use hairspray because you have your dry shampoo from day one and day two and hairspray from day one and two. Day three and four is just kind of like touching up those areas where you want it and just making sure you comb through your hair and everything's where it needs to be. So yeah, super simple, messy, beach ways, I guess is what you want to say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like my new hair. I smudged my roots, I went a little bit darker and cut quite a bit off, I feel like. 
this is just a good length for me as one of my hair sits up my collarbones. I do still have some laced hair extensions in throughout my hair just to kind of give me some more thickness and even me out. I'm really thinning through here where since I'm breastfeeding. So having those extensions kind of just gives you like that thickness and that full completed look for your hair. Um, I will be leaving a link down for everything below, even this bracelet, because it's so cute and maybe you're gonna ask about it. Um, my curling iron, my hair products, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you.